Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful brick stitch chandelier earrings with Delica beads. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you won't miss any of my videos and you will be inspired often two times a week usually. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following this tutorial, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will see full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And you will also see a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you will be able to watch the whole process of creation and decide if you feel like making it or not. And this will save you time, that is why you might want to subscribe also there on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, for new inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of Delica beads, 11 old Delica beads. They are really beautiful, like small cylinders, absolutely even. And these are ear wires. This is fire line that is 0.17 millimeters. You could use 0.15, whatever you like. This is size 10 beading needle, these are cutters or you could use scissors and these are pliers, they are not obligatory, I use them if I need to go through the difficult bits. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back and I will also provide you with a nice pattern. Okay guys, and as I promised, here I have a pattern and if you want to know how to make your own beading pattern, just follow this link here at the eye icon and you will see this pattern here at the left corner as well. And now I'm going to follow this pattern. I will start from the second row. It consists of two white beads. If you're not familiar with this stitch I'm using here, the brick stitch, don't worry. I'm showing it really easy step by step and I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself. Okay, I'm taking now two white beads. I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And now what I want to do is make one more knot and then pull. And now guys, this is what I have. And what I want to do next is just go through these two beads like this. And now I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row, I need a white, a blue and a white. And you will see it here as well. And I'm taking a white and a blue because every row I will start with two beads, okay? I take two beads and I go here. You see I have thread bridge between those two white beads. And I'm going here under this thread bridge, okay? Then what I do is that I go through this blue bead. Then I go through this white. And one more time through this blue bead and I will do this only in my in my third and fourth row, okay? Now you see what I have and what I need to add next is one white bead and with this I'm finishing this row, okay? And I pull and I go back through this bit that I just added. Okay guys, now I have this. This is increasing brick stitch, which means that in every row I add more and more bits, okay? 
and in my next row what I need to add are four beads a white two blue beads and one white so I will start with white and a blue because I always start with two beads and I start with white and a blue and I'm going through the first thread bridge of those two because I'm expanding my work and when I expand it increase the number of beads in each row I always go through the first thread bridge and in this work I will show only increase and the decrease I'm showing in other tutorials that I'll also link to at the eye icon to see okay and I'm going one more time around those two first beads here and what I need to add next is one blue bead I'm going through the following thread bridge here back through it just like this and I'm adding one white bead here okay and I go back here through this white bead now I have this and I will check what comes in my next row and I need one two three four five white beads okay and I like to flip my work as you may notice because it's easier for me to go in this direction when I work so now I'm going to take two white beads and I'm going here through the first thread bridge as I told you and in this row I'm not reinforcing through those two beads okay now I need one more white one more and with this I have four and this is the fifth one okay now I will flip my work again I will take my pattern or you could look here and now what I need is two white beads two red beads and two white beads okay so I take my first two whites in this step I go through the first thread bridge here two reds and two white okay now I have this and I will flip my work I will check my next row which is this one two whites red blue red and two whites Okay, I flip again and I need three whites, two reds and three whites. Okay, I have this and I flip and what I take next is 
a white, two reds, three whites, two reds and one white. Okay, and in my next row, a white, a red, a blue, a red, two whites, red, blue, red, white. Okay, then I flip and in my next row what I need is two whites, two reds, white, blue, white, two reds, two whites. Okay, and I flip and now guys it's time for my last row a blue four whites two blue four whites one blue Okay guys and this is my last row and what I want to do next is flip my work and I will make this chandelier part that I promised. Okay and in order to do this I'm zigzagging through my beads and I want to reach the center of my earring. Okay, I want to reach this middle two blue beads and what I want to take here are five white beads. Okay, I have here my five, five beads, you see. And as I'm exiting from one of my blue beads, I go through the other one. Okay, 
So now this is what I have. And in my next step, I'm going here zigzagging through the white bead that's next to the blue one. And now I'm going to take 10 red beads. Okay, so in my first step, I took 5 beads and now I'm taking 10 beads. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this white here, what I want to do is go through the white that's just the opposite. Okay, and I pull. Now I have this. Then, guys, in my next step, I'm going here zigzagging through the following white. And now I need 15 blue beads. Okay, guys, and now I have my 15 here. 3 times by 5 beads, it's 15. And I'm sliding those down. And in each row, as you may see, I increase the number of beads by 5. Okay. So now here I have 15 like this then in my next step I'm going through the white bead zigzagging okay like this and now in my next step I will take 20 white beads okay guys and now I have here 20 white beads on my needle okay and I'm going to slide those down like this okay I will flip my work because it's easier and I'm going here through this white bead okay fixing a little bit my beads okay then what I do next is that I go through this white in this direction just like this okay and in my next step, guys, I'm going to take 25 red beads from the reds. Okay, guys, and now I have my 25 red beads and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, just like this. Flipping my work and I'm going through this white bead here. Okay. Now I flip again and what I do is that I go through this blue one and now I need to take 30 blue beads. Okay guys and I have my 30 blue beads 6 times 5 and what I do here is that I slide those down like this and here I go through this blue one okay and if you want you could go one more time back through these rings here of beads just to make the beads stay uh, nice and not move around if you want it's not obligatory okay and now i'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire Okay, now I'm here and what I'm going to take is my ear wire and I will take one blue bead. I will put my ear wire and then one more blue bead. And what I do is that I go back through this white one and pull just like this. And then I'm going again through all of those beads one more time. Okay, and after I reinforced those beads, what I want to do is go here in this direction guys just like this and here I don't need to make knots 
if I don't want to, just I will go through a lot of beads in this direction. Like this. And then I'm going to cut my tail thread. Okay. And I will cut this thread as well. Okay, and you could use your zippers if you want to. And now guys, my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my brick stitch chandelier earrings with Delica beads are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And also you will find a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you might also decide to subscribe there for inspiration and just to save time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.